Uh, Kenichiwa, Eddie, congratulations on the role. Um, you've, you've denied links to this job all year, I think more than a dozen times. Can we just clarify when you first made contact with the JRFU and do you, do you feel a need to apologise to all of his fans for doing that interview before the World Cup? Well, I didn't do an interview before the World Cup. Um, I was asked by the recruitment agency to share my experiences with, with them. The first interview I had with Japan was in December, uh, and that's the only interview I've had. Uh, Apologise to Australian fans. Yep, mate, I gave everything I could for that short period of time and it wasn't good enough. Um, as we spoke about before, I had a plan of what we needed to do to change Australian rugby, um, and we weren't able to, to do that. Rugby Australia weren't able to help support that. So I decided to move on, and I wish Australia all the best. Um, yeah, I feel terrible about what I, the results of Australia, because I wanted to go back and, and change Australia. So I feel terrible, mate. Yeah, but I don't feel any guilt at all about this process, and I know you've been banging the drum fairly strongly on it, right? But I haven't had an interview until December. Um, just to clarify, the Zoom interview invitation says first round interview in it, so we can beg to differ on that. But on October 13 at Coogee Oval, you said you hadn't spoken to any recruiters or anything like that. The chairman last night of the JRFU confirmed that you, you had spoken to them before the World Cup. Why were you being a bit loose with the truth there? And do you think Australians really believe, Eddie, that your first interview with Japan was only last week? Well, I'm not sure what they need to believe, mate. Um, but all I can say is I go back to the first interview I had for Japan was in December, and that was it. Could I ask just to clarify what I said yesterday? Yeah, I just confirmed that, that yes, there was a conversation between recruiting company and Andy Jones because they actually wanted, instead of us, I uh, wanted to actually uh, ask him about the uh, knowledge of what he actually uh, had about Japan. So he was a source. <coughs> to actually search for the best possible candidate for us. So that's why they contacted him. So that's what I confirmed yesterday. So why was the Zoom invitation labelled first round interview with the JRFU? I don't know what you are talking about because I told you that uh, we had a conversation uh, with Eddie Jones and recruiting company to search for the best possible candidate to get the information.